Hi everybody, welcome back to Deavery's Day. Um, lo and behold, tvOS 12 has come out. See one of my videos up here, down here, around here. Uh, guess what, tvOS 12.1 is out. I know a couple of people have been pinging me on the channel. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to download it, gonna install it and see what the differences are. Let's go guys. Okay, first things first, you want to know how to get the betas. So some people on uh, version 12 want to get onto version 12.1. I don't know what the differences are just yet, but I'm sure you want to get onto it. Um, you need to go to beta.apple.com and you need to register on there with your Apple ID. That's your first step. Okay guys, the next thing you have to do is open up the settings on your Apple TV. So let's go down to here, you go down to settings. Um, you've got to click on accounts and then either click on iCloud iTunes and App Store or Game Center. You sign in with the same Apple ID um, that you used to register for the beta program and then click on menu on your Siri remote. Then click on system. So let's go uh, there with system, down to system. Uh, click on software updates. Uh, in software updates, uh, what you need to do is turn on, uh, turn get public beta updates on. So it's on here. So we now click on there, uh, get beta updates, and to remember us TV, uh, Apple beta software program, must agree to all the following legal, agree, and that is then on. So that's your first step, guys. So hopefully you've all done that. Uh, next thing we need to go, um, you can either update now, download, install, or update later. Um, so you can probably just see my arm there, look. Um, or you can come back out of here and you can go on to update software. So let's just do that. Um, as you can see, 12.1, which is 5575C, that's the latest version. Download and install, usual sort of thing. Guys, we've done this before, you've seen this many times. Whilst that's just downloading, just want to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel. We are two subs away from 500. Um, thank you so much, and thank you for all of the um, comments and everything that people have given me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm getting sort of named as the Apple TVOS guy, which is fine. I'm more than happy to keep doing videos on this if this is what you want to see. Um, I do do some other videos in between, so we've got some unboxing videos from the Amazon stuff. Um, we've also got some days out, and I know they're not as popular as those things, but they're things that we enjoy, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that too. So thanks ever so much, guys, for, for continuing watching. Right, I'll leave this downloading in the background. Um, once that's downloaded, we will have a look and see what's changed. Let's go. Hi guys, it's me again. While I'm waiting for this to download, TV OS 12.1. Look, look, look. I'll zoom in, 498. Come on, you must have some friends. Hit the subscribe button. You must have some friends. Let's get to 500, guys, yes. I just want it to change. Wouldn't it be marvelous if it changed while we were watching it? We could, we could wish it to change. Change. It's not gonna change, is it? What I really like about working with you guys, because it's, it's a bit of a job, right? I don't get paid for it. It's not commercialized, all that sort of stuff. I do it for fun and I like to share is that when I go to sleep, because most of my audience is from America, when I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning and suddenly that number's gone up. It's one of the first things I check every morning. It's great fun. So 500 people, I couldn't believe when I started this about a year ago that 500 people would be one to watch our regular content. We are trying to do more regular content. Um, I'm still, still trying to find my, my space in this YouTube world. At the moment, it's becoming more and more of a technology channel. Um, I do still like buying the weird things. Like um, this week, I'm gonna I'm gonna release the endoscope um, re review. Bit of a strange one, I know. We've also got some security light reviews and things like that. They're interesting for us. Hopefully, you guys will find it interesting too. Um, also, a couple of guys, uh, Jason Arn and uh, Harlow Quinn. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. I do read your comments. I do respond, as you know, and thank you for those. And Mark, let me know how you're getting on. I'm waiting for you to come back to me, buddy, with that HDMI cable. I want to make sure it's working. Apparently, Harlow has told me, well, was a few more minutes for this to go, Harlow has told me that on here, the test HDMI connection has now changed and gives more positive information. I've had a look at the release, release notes for 12.1. Um, there's very, very little information about it, so it's just a minor incremental. I don't think there's gonna be anything wonderful on here, but we can have a quick look. If I can find anything, I'll do a quick scan through the, uh, the old menu, so if I can find anything, I'll let you know. Um, I'll just check my phone, see if we're on 500, but we're not yet. Um, but anyway, let's do a quick update, and in a couple of minutes, it'll be ready to go. Okay, guys, here we go, just starting up. Uh, this is 12.1, tvOS 12.1. 
Um, we'll do a cursory check. I'm going to check screen servers first because they're my favorite. We all know this by now. And I'm going to check the HDMI cable settings because Harlow says that's what we need to check. Uh, when the wonderful Apple logo eventually disappears, we'll get cracking. Okay, it looks all normal so far. Um, let's go straight into the list of screensavers. My remote's now connected. And we know we've got the ISIS screensavers, Greenland, uh, over the Pacific Ocean. Now, oh, amazing, these, these screensavers. Just scroll through these. Oh, was that neon? Victoria Peak. I can't remember seeing that on the last one, but I haven't studied these in detail, to be honest with you. Um, oh, that's really nice, isn't it? That's stunning. I love it. So anyway, um, ISA screensavers, this, this, is, this is stunning. Um, ISA screensavers, <clears throat> let's go down to check the HDMI. So remember this took ages before and didn't give you very much information, but apparently um, it does give you more information now. So let's go to video and audio, check HDMI connection. Uh, We'll send a high bandwidth signal to your TV to test the HDMI connection. This will take up to two minutes. Now that's like significantly faster than the last time. Uh, check HDMI cable. Projector may take a little bit longer because I know to present that onto there takes a few few extra seconds. So we'll just give it a moment and see what it does. I'm hoping that they give you some information. Last time I didn't give you any. Oh, there you go. Check an HDMI connection. Your HDMI connection looks good. We'll monitor your connection later you know if we see any problems. Hmm. Not sure that's showing me much, but anyway, um, this is only a 0.1 release. So uh, I am surprised though that 12 was out last week and then 12.1's out immediately, but we'll keep following it. Um, as I find out more and more information, uh, I'll share that with you. Can't see anything there. Um, let's do our usual, let's uh, just run up a, a film. Ah, something that people did want me to try. Ah, oh, look at me, I'm all green, look. That's one thing, a problem having a projector in front of you. Um, now I've got my new phone. I don't think I've put on the location services. I can't quite recall, but let's have a, have a go on this. I'm gonna... Hey Siri, find my iPhone. Follow my voice. Ah, it works. Now I don't know whether it did that because my phone was in the room or whether it did it on there, but it's nearby, ping in Chad's iPhone. So yeah, that works quite well. I guess you can do it. Hey Siri, find my iPad. Okay, so it can't do it. Probably because I haven't got the uh, find my, uh, my device enabled on the iPad, which I'll do it for next time. Anyway guys, so uh, just a minor update. I did want to try that, that clearly works. Um, we now know, uh, let's try one other thing. Hey Siri, show me iTunes movies with Dolby Atmos. Oh, no, isn't that interesting? Find films with Dolby Atmos. Find Dolby Atmos. Find films with Atmos. Let me know if you have exactly the same, uh, assuming you're getting version 12.1, let me know if you have exactly the same on that. Anyway, that's it for the moment, guys. Got all of my little updates on 12.1. The beta notes I'll put below if I can get hold of them. Um, any other questions, please let me know. I look forward to seeing you next time on Debris Day. Thanks, guys. See you later. Have a good week. Bye for now.